Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tan Tan here, and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I'm sorry for disappearing for a while because I have been quite busy in the recently weeks. That is why most of my videos are predated and uploaded on YouTube. So today I'm back, but not with a Transformer figures, but rather a display piece for Marvel's fan. So here we have Cat Toys Spider-Man Homecoming mask, and so here we have the box, and this is the what what it arrives in. So we have the Shield logo here. We got Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement Logistic Division, and we have that logo Cat Toys. So here we have the box, the official box, and firstly we see the face of Spider-Man. This is clearly the homecoming suit, or the Civil War suit. Here we have the name Spider-Man, and we have some information. Packing has to be kept, blah blah blah, and you got some other language, and you got choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years old, made in China, and this is required three AAA batteries, and you see the logo of Cat Toys over here, and that will be it. Now let's bust this thing open. And there we go. This is the only thing that came in the box. And that will be it. So now let's put the box away. And here we have this mask. And now let's open it up, remove this package and see what is inside. So here we have the two items that came in the box. We have the Spider-Man mask and we have a remote control and that is everything so here we have the mask and i must say i'm really impressed with this whole form and because like to the other spider-man mask it is a mask but then this is like they have that layer of plastic to form the face which looks really nice to be honest and the feelings of the fabric here is this is the flexible fabric i don't know how to call it but then in my opinion this is like the same kind of fabrics they use for one on six scale model such as hot toys and etc and I must say this is a really good material because look at the printing on it or oh, looks really impressed and I must say that cat toy has done an excellent job at recreating the face of spider-man over here I absolutely adore this details they all look really sharp and nothing seems to be false print or anything and if you look closely, there are three lines of connecting the mask onto the face. You have one in the middle of the mouth, one down here, and the upper two. And to me, it is nice. It is nice. You never got that feel of recreating the looks in the movie. But in some, in my opinion, because of that lining, sometimes it does feels like this is Deadpool. You know, the, because of the similarity in the color, color scheme. But anyway, this is brilliant and I absolutely adore this. And now I'm going to turn it around. So as you see, this is a mask as you still have your head section empty. But then you can you know, wear it and then cover the whole things with this zipper over here. And if you look at the edge, that is stick onto it by super fabric glue, some source of Paste. I don't know about. I don't know too much about fabric, but in my opinion, this won't be peeling out anytime soon, and I really enjoy that because of that reason. So they have to split it onto three pieces, so it, it is easier to apply it and to make it latch onto the mask itself. And I'm really impressed by that features. I enjoy that a lot. And it is the detail inside the head. The first thing you're gonna notice is the eye. So they are actually this is a two layer eyes. You got one is the normal glasses and one with the beehive details and you can look through really easy and in my opinion this is a great compliment and of course you can this is the uh, feeling breath holes of some kind so you won't feel as hard to breathe as you're wearing this mask and the final thing is that the battery component over here so that is a three triple a batteries and the switch so that will be it so in comparison here we have this cat toys homecoming and this is the cosplay costume of Miles Morales from Zentai as you can see so it solves the problem of the face face form 
because as for the Miles Morales, it still looks kind of floppy and to be honest, looks kind of dumb. But with the f homecoming version, it solves the problem. So I would prefer this one over here. And it obviously, it costs more. So now to comparison for the printing quality. And as you can see, the Zentai is starting to fade away the painting. As you can see, it is kind of looks kind of dull now. Looks kind of dull now. And to be honest, this is obviously a lot cheaper than the cat toys but then what can I expect and that would be it for because I guess like the fabric here is more expensive so it could hold the print a lot longer than the normal fabric but on top of that if you look closely at the eye and obviously you can see they have the same kind of details to look through but with the Miles Morales suit it doesn't have the two layers just like with the Peter Parker versions so yeah, it is a different a major difference and of course you still got that massive eye line around and I guess the same problem the price I think that if cat toys decide to make a miles more or less version so it would look a lot better than the Zentai because the, cos the cosplay one so I have a mannequin hat so I'm gonna show you how to wear this bring that closer in and then you just simply Turn it around and just put that on. And just to make sure that it is stays on the right shape of your head, and pull the zipper, and we're done. So we have the mask fully wear on. And the first thing I want to say is that if you look behind, you would know that notice that there is some kind of floppy. But then because this is like the mannequin has no hair So if you wear this and it normally be fully put on It would look a lot better But then again I must say I have compliments for this shape and size of this helmet It is really look, it does look impressive The only problem is that if you need to display this, this guy Then you would need to buy an extra mannequin head But then again it would look like Spider-Man got his upper body cut off So it depends on you but to me this is a nice display so <clears throat> the extra feature of this guy is that he comes with a remote and what does it do activate the eyes and you can see this is kind of like a spider ship thingy and it looks kind of nice when to it was quite a strange batteries so to plug the batteries I thought this is a, this is a, like an extra L44 batteries but then it is not, it is this shape of battery right here. This is a 12 voltage battery, so it looks kind of strange. I nev never used this kind of battery before. So you apply it. And so this is a remote, and it does absolutely nothing. You press this A button, nothing happened except for the light to, to turn on. You press the B button, nothing. C, still nothing. But the D, as you can see, the eye is actually open and closed a little bit, and that is the best feature of this piece anyway. And the, I'm quite feeling frustrated because they have this four button, but then why the hell they didn't make it so the eyes can move separately or anything rather than just the D button? And then why even they, why even there's this existence of the three other buttons? I don't know. That is absolutely hard to understand. But anyway. That is my uh, review of the Cat Toys Spider-Man Homecoming or slash Silver War Mask And to me this is a nice display piece and better for cosplay so, But then the price is quite high so I will put the link in the description below so you see how much of the price this cost me And other than that, that will be it for today guys I'll see you guys later, turn out